Spider web. This is the new one. This is what we talked about. Yeah. Do you, do you think uh, that would uh, that would uh, put you in a perspective that you would rethink about whether God exists or not? Or? I, I mean, I would be in two minds because I think there is some sort of biological biological imperative uh, genetics that the brain could sort of be uh, built with some stuff. That's better. Uh, like the, the DNA is like a computer coding. Yeah. So to have a to have a code, you need a, somebody to make the code. Isn't it? Oh, it's true. The code actually grow. So first you have to have the coding and the step by step, just like you said. First you have to have the program, yeah. and the program will define the timing. For example, I can't tell my child six year old go and enroll to six from college. Because this has a destined time after 15, 16 years, you can go to when you pass the elementary school. So just like when we created in the wombs of the mother, when it came out, it's exactly the same shape. Everything has been developed over the time. And that has been programmed to do. And that's one of the verse. Let me show you because I don't, and this Quran actually goes very powerful, you know. It goes in chapter 23, yeah. Here it said something very interesting. Uh, here. Okay. And certainly, did we create man from extract of clay? Then we placed him as a sperm drop in a farm lodging. So we call it Qararim Maqeen, Allah said, a, a place mentioning. Then we made sperm drop into clinging cloth like a leech. The steps of embryology basically, right? And, and we made cloth into lump and then lump into bone. We covered the bones with flesh. Then we develop into another creation. So blessed, the best of creator. And so talking about the steps, reminding us our steps. Yeah. So now going back to the knowing question. When someone defining me, how I am created, first of all, the one who created, he must know. And his definition, if I claim to know something, and if I say I created this, I should be able to tell you the process as well. So one thing I have the ability to make, and another thing I have ability to explain. Yeah. So that's two things happening in the parallel. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> you see, so he's talking about that, what he knows about you and how you've been formed in the homes of the mother. And then, uh, talking about fast forward, then you are to die, then indeed on the day of resurrection you will be resurrected. Means, if I can perform something, if I can make a box, what's the possibility that if that box broken, what's the possibility can I recreate it again? So if you see me, I am performing the task, making the box, you would surely say, okay, he done it, so he can do it again. Yeah. So we believe in the hereafter. It's nothing. Allah is not telling us to believe something new. You, what you have already witnessed means in one point of time, like 70 years ago, Olivia, myself and yourself, we are not the scene in the world, right? We come in from non-existent. So from non-existent to existent is a one process, right? Now, First mover, we die. We become non-existent again. The entity who brings into existent from non-existent, can he not repeat it again? Yeah. Do you, you see that? It, it like to, maybe like hopes. Yeah. There's no no escape route, you know. Yeah. There's no reason that couldn't happen. Does it make sense? There's no reason that couldn't happen. But, uh, you know, in the Quran, there are many uh, scientific facts that are mentioned that was not known at the time of the Prophet. Yeah, yeah. So you heard of told, that? Yeah, uh, my friend, uh, okay. our friends so, with the scientists who told me. Yeah, yeah. So, How so. would you rationally explain uh, something? Like this? It is so. Uh, yeah. It's no, it's, it's, it's good. Yeah, I mean, we have to, to, as human beings, we need to rationalize things, okay. and we need to come to a conclusion. 
So how can how can somebody uh, uh, thousand four hundred years ago knows about something like this? If there is no connection with the with the dead. Yeah, no, it, it, indeed. I, I, I've had this since being to you before. Uh, What's your take? I, 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 that's what I, that's what I, I have no take. That's a, I, can't, I can't question something I know is I, I know it's right. But why would I? Yeah. Yeah. I think. Uh, so, so you, are, you accept that uh, there are scientific facts in the Quran that was not known at that time. So, if that man that comes with a, a knowledge that nobody know about, and he claims that he's a prophet. Would you not take it into consideration? Oh, yeah. Yeah? So you would take into consideration that there is a claim? I, yes, I would. But just, I think, yeah, I wouldn't say that this, the, 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 the uh, what's the word? I wouldn't say that the quest for truth ends there. But at the same time, it would, I would take it. Into I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a good beginning to. Uh, I think this is the biggest model. I'll tell you why. This is the biggest model we use it every day. Yes. It's called testimony argument, right? Yes. Like, you know, you know, imagine your mother called you yeah, yes. and say, oh, I cook chicken for you. Did you ever doubt that your mother did? She wouldn't lie. She wouldn't have no, okay. gender for you to lie to me. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> so no reason to lie. Yeah. She doesn't normally lie, right? Yeah. Now, if we apply the same test of testimony, did Prophet Muhammad known to be a liar? No. Yeah. He's completely opposite. He was known to be al Amin. Oh, right? Then, can he be a deluded person? We never know from the 63 years of life. And even Allah tells in, uh, can you open 53? That's number 53. Allah said, uh, mm -hmm. So he's not a deluded. Means he's sincerely been deluded, you know? Yeah. But it's not the case as well. I, I see. Then, Either he's speaking the truth or either he's speaking lie, right? Yeah. And if we do the falsification, you, yeah, so, yeah, sorry. He said, your companion Muhammad has not strayed, nor he has erred, nor does he speak from inclination. It is not but a, revel uh, uh, not but a revelation revealed. So actually Allah is saying that he's talking, doesn't talk from his desire, yeah. but what creator tell him to say. Yeah. So, of course, when he is claiming that he is a messenger of God, then his information source must be all-knowing. Yeah, yeah. You did me not think about it. I think the master I have to head off very soon okay, because I'm no, expecting no. But I think that all-knowing things, I like it, you know? Yeah. That all-knowing... You did me not think if about I can, uh, if, yeah, if I can just finish uh, with uh, some things. You know, the, this is the whole purpose of our life, is to find, to find the truth. Whether God exists or, or don't exist. No, I, 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 the science says I have to agree with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but uh, this, is, uh, this is very important. We, we have to give it uh, is uh, uh, due... Uh, time and do uh, research to really find using our logic and, uh, and reason to, to find uh, very nice to it's very nice meeting you I'll take these back yeah you don't want it I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't mind but I just <laughs> we would like to we would like to give you a copy of the Quran as a gift oh if you don't mind no, yes yeah take long yeah and and like you know the you have one is intellectual proof and another is compelling evidence which is testimony argument yeah. and then you have Quran as a miracle so we have three layer of proofs and evidence right to deal with that right no, I, 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 and yeah I, I hope you know you look into it and you know if you have a question you give me a lot to think about yeah me an absolute pleasure of meeting you thank you, thank you it was and, uh, such a pleasure and uh, that's all honestly I really enjoyed the conversation with you it's a very so I guess I'll, I'll see you around. Look after yourself. Thank you. Thank you.